Magandang araw muli sa inyong lahat. Welcome sa ating channel, Sir Lopez Vlog. Sa araw na ito ay magkakaroon muli tayo ng self-evaluation dito sa subject na Criminal Law Book 2. At okay, kung nakanda na tayo, start na natin sa question number 1. Ang coverage ng ating self-evaluation ngayon is from Article 114, that is for treason, and up to Article 255, of the revised penal code and that is what we call infanticide okay let's start question number one escaping from his prison cell when his case is still on appeal does not make said prisoner liable for evasion of service of sentence letter a true b false c may be true or letter d may be false Question number two. When a person discharges a firearm in public, the act may constitute any of the possible crimes under the revised penal code. If a person is shot at and is wounded, what was the crime committed? A. Illegal discharge of firearms. B. Grave threat. C. Attempted homicide. Or letter D. Alarms and scandals. A person who is determined to kill resorted to the cover of darkness at night time to ensure the killing. This is a crime of murder. Why? Letter A. Because of evident premeditation. Letter B. Because of means involving great waste or ruin. Letter C. Because of means to means to ensure or afford impunity. Or letter D. Because of treachery. Number four. A is the parent of B, the illegitimate daughter. B married C and they begat a legitimate child. If the daughter of B and C would kill A, the grandmother, what crime is committed by D? Letter A, parricide. Letter B, homicide. Letter C, murder. Or letter D, infanticide. Question number 5. The criminal is the father of the son of the judge. If the criminal kills the judge, what crime is committed? Why? Letter A, parricide because the criminal is the descendant of the judge. Letter B, parricide because the judge is the father of the criminal. Letter C, parricide because the judge is the spouse of the criminal. Or letter D, no crime committed because the judge and the criminal is one in the same person. Hence, it is a suicide. Question number 6. The objective may not be to overthrow the government, but only to destabilize or paralyze the government through the seizure of facilities and Utilities essential to the continued possession and exercise of governmental powers. A. Rebellion. B. Codeta. C. Insurrection. Or letter D. Sedition. Number 7. Raising of commotion or disturbances in the state. Its ultimate objective is a violation of the public peace or at least such measures that evidently endangers it. Letter A, rebellion. Letter B, codeta. Letter C, insurrection. Or letter D, sedition. Number 8. Muslim husbands with several wives can be convicted of parricide only in case the first wife is killed. There is no parricide if the other wives are killed, although their marriage is recognized as valid. A. True. B. False. Number 9. The accused three young men seized and tied the victim to a tree. With both arms and legs around the tree, they thought they were, they thought they would give him a lesson by whipping him with branches of gumamela 
until the victim fell unconscious. The accused left not knowing that the victim died. What crime is committed? A. Homicide through negligence. Letter B. Murder. Letter C. Homicide or letter D. No crime because they do not have the intent to kill. Number 10. A person wanting to kill a stranger kills his own father by mistake. What crime is committed, if any, and why? Letter A. Murder because relationship is immaterial in this case due to a mistake. Letter B. No crime committed because there is no intention on the part of the person to kill his own father. Letter C, parricide because this can be committed by mistake or letter D, homicide due to the absence of qualifying circumstances. 11. A stranger who cooperates in committing parricide is liable also of parricide due to conspiracy. Hence, the act of one is the act of all. Letter A, true. Letter B, false. Number 13, A, spouse of B, conspire with C to kill B. C is the stranger in the relationship. C killed B with trickery. The means employed is made known to A and A agreed to that. And A agreed that the killing will be done by poisoning. A. As far as C is concerned, what crime is committed? And why? Letter A, homicide because of the absence of relationship with the victim. Letter B, parricide because of conspiracy. Letter C, murder because of trickery. Or letter D, no crime committed because A is the one who killed B. 14. Pedro kills his brother due to jealousy. What crime is committed? A, murder. B, parricide. Letter C, homicide, or letter D, infanticide. Number 15, Abdul kills his son who is less than 3 days old. What crime is committed? A, murder, B, parricide, C, homicide, or letter D, infanticide. 16, Emma is the common law wife of Abdul. Due to miscommunication, Emma killed by Abdul. What crime is committed? A. Murder. B. Parricide. C. Homicide or letter D. Infanticide. 17. Abdul, with evident premeditation and trickery, killed his father. What was the crime committed? A. Murder. B. Parricide. C. Homicide. Or letter D. Qualified. Homicide. 18. Sergeant Andres Rizal entered the dwelling of Jose Bonifacio against the latter's will on suspicion that the former Keep unlicensed firearms in his home. What was the crime committed by Sergeant Andres Rizal, if any? A. Trespass to dwelling. B. Violation of domicile. Letter C. Usurpation of authority. Or letter D. No crime committed. Number 19. Professor Rosé. Give a failing grade to one of his students, Lito. When the two met the following day, Lito slapped Professor Jose on the face. What was the crime committed by Lito? A. Corruption of public officials. B. Direct assault. C. Slight physical injuries or letter D. Grave coercion. Question number 20. When a person discharges a firearm in public, 
the act may constitute any of the possible crimes under the revised penal code if the firearms when discharged was not directed to any particular person what was the crime committed a illegal discharge of firearms b grave threat c attempted homicide or letter d alarms and scandals 21 a policeman assigned to the city jail as guard who while off duty release a prisoner is liable for blank a infidelity in the custody of prisoners letter b delivering prisoners from jail letter c evasion of service of sentence or letter d illegal releasing of prisoner 22 this crime is committed by persons who raise publicly and tumultuously in order to attain by force the prevention of the promulgation or execution of any law or the holding of any popular election a audita b rebellion c sedition or letter d direct assault 23 one stab pedro while the latter is dying abdul gives another blow to finish him the wounds inflicted by Juan and Abdul caused the death of Pedro. Letter A. Only Juan is guilty of homicide because he is the first one to make injury to the victim. Letter B. Each of them is guilty of homicide. Letter C. Only Abdul is liable because of the finishing blow he inflicted to the victim. Or letter D. None of them is guilty. 24. Euthanasia or mercy killing is the practice of painlessly putting to death a person suffering from some incurable disease. In this case, the person does not want to die. A doctor who resorts to euthanasia may be a held liable for the crime of giving assistance to suicide. Letter B, held liable for homicide. Letter C, held liable for murder. Or letter D, acquitted for any crime for helping the victim to stop his suffering. 25. The gun was initially aimed at or against the offended party, but was not pointed at the offended party when it fired. What crime is committed? A. Attempted homicide, B. Alarms and scandals, C. Grave threat, or letter D. Illegal discharge of firearms. Okay, so natapos na natin ang ating sinagawang self-evaluation sa araw na ito. Ang key to correction natin, once again, makikita lamang dito sa ating description box. Alright, so hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat. See you again next meeting.